Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to resolve the save side side quest error. So if you're trying to install an application, I've got an APK here that I know is blacklisted and I've got a headset connected. If I go to tasks, drag on application.apk, I get this save side error. So how do you install it? What we want to actually do is use ADB in terminal. So if we, we can close this down, we're not actually going to use this. We are going to make sure we've actually got ADB installed for outside of side quest use. To do that, we need to install something called homebrew. So if you just go to brew.sh, copy this command, open up terminal. So if you just go to search terminal, and then right click and paste what you just, what I just, you know, copied and what you copied, press enter. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't need the dollar at the start. Don't know why you copied that. And then you're asking for your password. This is your user account password. Bear in mind, it does not appear. So just bear that in mind. It's not an error. That's just for security purposes and this script will install blah 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 press enter it's going to download and install homebrew depending on whether you've done this or not before it may take longer and it may not for me it should be pretty quick because i've already got it installed and it should frankly be pretty up to date so there you go because i did recently just update it so we're all good now to install adb we do brewcast install android dash platform dash tools again same principle for me it should be quicker than it'll probably be in yours for the simple fact i've already installed it to know it's installed if i type adb there we go if we don't get an error then it's great if i type in adb devices this is just optional that's my oculus device if i disconnect my oculus quest this works on quest quest 2 and go and I do the command again, we get nothing in the list. And if I reconnect it, it can take a little while to connect. Uh, see if it's detected in side quest. Oh, that's that's like one of the things I love about using love using side quest for is the ability to be able to. Uh, it's not appearing strange let's launch it back up again to be able to just see if the device has connected connecting not detected okay if you get this error if you get this i've had this so many times before leave here so here's an extra tip leave your quest headset plugged in keep the power button pressed till you get the you know power options and you'll have restart power off and cancel click restart this is only if you get this not detected error and you have plugged it in obviously make sure side quest is up to date make sure your quest is up to date or you know your oculus device if they are just do this reboot and yeah so i thought it's best to show you this as well because you know it's easy to come across this problem I, I have this pretty often on a mac so for that reason i like to make sure that i there we go it has now detected it by going to here. So if you get that, make sure it's plugged in, restart your quest, or go anywhere up here. So now to install it, what you do, we can get rid of this. What you do is put in adb install dash r. That's that stands for recursive. So that means if that application already exists, it will override it. So so make sure you want that. And then just drag and drop this file. And if I click enter, it's gonna, you know, start the daemon if it's not already done. And there you go, it's installed. If I was to try and, you know, do something like that, file name doesn't exist, so it don't work. So if I do it again, it'll, you know, try and install it. And because I've got dash r, it will install overwrite it. And the only negative thing about using ADB is directly like this it doesn't really give you much of a progress so it doesn't say one percent two percent five ten percent so you just have to wait patiently this is a very small apk file this is only about 50 meg 60 just under 60 meg so it's installed pretty quick if you've got something that's hundreds of megabytes even a gigabyte plus 
Usually that's split into into an OVB file, but it might not be. And then, you know, you might be waiting for a while, just wait patiently, and then, you know, just come back and it should be done. If your game includes an OBB file, you can install the APK using this method and then install the OBB file using the side quest method, which I've covered in a separate video. I will provide a link in the description to all my side quests, I mean, to all my Oculus videos, including installing OBB files, setting up side quests and all that stuff. So this is how you you know overcome the safe side error on a mac i've got videos covering this on windows and linux as well if you have any any more oculus quest you know, sort of hacking apk sort of side questy videos let me know and i'll try and create them so thanks for watching look forward to seeing you soon